Well, if you have shoulder pain, you could be suffering from a rotator cuff tear. It's the most common source of shoulder pain and disability, with more than 14, 4 million people in the United States being diagnosed every year. And now there's a new breakthrough technology that can help orthopedic surgeons. Dr. Mark Petropoli from Victory Sports Medicine and Orthopedics is here to tell us all about it. And he's brought along one of his patients, Mina Hessinger. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for, for joining us. us. Okay, so tell us a little bit about this new technology, this new breakthrough that's happening, that's changing the way um, rotator cuff surgery is mm -hmm. playing out, I guess. Okay. I thought Mina was going to do all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So basically, we should probably start with what the rotator cuff is. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is a model right here. This is a model as well. <laughs> yeah. Both of okay. And so this is the shoulder blade here. This is the upper arm. So okay. that's called the humeral head. That's called the glenoid. So ball and socket joint. Okay. And if you take the deltoid muscle off, there's mm -hmm. four small fine tuner muscles underneath it. There's one in the front. One on the top, two in the back. I won't give you the names, although this is the supraspinatus. So the one on the top tends to get pinched most commonly between these bones. The rotator cuff is four small fine tuner muscles that kind of help um, your shoulder with stability, help you move your arm in the right way, help throwers throw overhead athletes. And it's very important, but it's also, as you said, a very common cause for pain. Mm. So uh, as an orthopedic surgeon, I see a lot of rotator cuff injuries, a lot of shoulder pain. Not all of it needs surgery, but I guess we're here to mostly talk about um, the surgery. Mm -hmm. Mina's had some surgery on her, and back in the last century, mm -hmm. uh, we <laughs> perfected smaller um, ways to repair the rotator cuff. And... Um, uh, we focus more on repair and replacement. Mm -hmm. Now, okay. in the 21st century, we're focusing a little bit more on the biology and restorative techniques to allow the body to heal itself better. Okay. So basically, I'll just kind of go quickly through this. Okay. You know, as I said, oh uh, back in the last century, we developed the arthroscope. So it's just a small fiber optic it camera. Really? We make, this is a model of a shoulder. We just make some small poke holes. It's outpatient surgery. You come in that day, you leave the same day. Wow general anesthesia so the patient doesn't feel any pain, right? You didn't feel anything? Yeah. <laughs> and so we put the camera in there oh, and it's the on, a, an, on a fiber optic scope and then we can use the other poke holes to put instruments through. So that's, we're able to look inside the shoulder. So if we, if we pretend that this is the inside of the shoulder, mm -hmm. um, basically, you know, you can see there's a hole here where this tear is. So we developed all kinds oh, of yeah. different Arthrex and some of these companies develop some really good tools where we can Wow. Pass sutures and put anchors <gasps> in, and you can see how that passed it oh right yeah. through there, just like grandma's crochet hook, you know. Yeah. So you're sewing. <laughs> we're sewing, and we're putting anchors in the bone. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go through that in a second here, but if one of you guys just wants to hold that right there, mm -hmm. basically what we have here is an anchor. Mm -hmm. So these started out as metal, then they went to plastic, mm. then they became uh, absorbable, and now they're basically a material. Oh, that, nice. Yep, nice. so we can kind of just put it in there so, and screw it in. So, Mina, how do you feel? You've, you've had a procedure done. How do you feel today? I feel uh, really well. Really, really well. well, yes. One it's shoulder 100%. or two? One. Just one, okay. I actually had it done twice. Oh, okay. And um, the second time was very successful, so I'm very pleased. So what very did pleased. you use the second time on her? So that brings us to the next subject. So okay. a lot of people who have rotator cuff tears, the most common cause is just wear and tear. So the tissue kind of breaks down. It's not as good as it used to be. So yes, we got very good at repairing damaged tissue back down to the bone. Yeah. But then if you have damaged tissue uh, attached to the bone, it has a higher rate of re-tearing within a couple of years, 50 to 75 percent in some studies. So this biologic implant here mm. is a collagen implant. And yeah. basically, it's not for structure. It just goes on. It's easily put in through the arthroscope. And I believe there's a video of yeah, that. Yeah, and you know what? But we're out of time. Oh, okay. <laughs> so listen, we want to <laughs> let you know that if you'd like to learn more, Dr. Petropoli will be hosting a presentation on Tuesday, August 15th. It starts at 6 p.m. in the auditorium of the Auburn Community Hospital. You can watch uh, and interact live on Facebook.com slash Bridge Street TV. And as we mentioned, Dr. Petropoli is with Victory Sports Medicine and Orthopedics in Skinny Atlas. If you'd like to connect with them, you can give them a call, 685-7544, or visit victorysportsmedicine.com. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so for having much. us, Thank you. Thank you. No compromising <laughs> pictures. Thank you. I appreciate it.